Before you can use the power of the cloud to serve your content, you have to get your data into it. In this episode of Cloud Storage Bytes, we talk all about the ways you can upload data. So buckle up, because we're heading to the cloud. When it comes to writing data into cloud storage, you have a few different options. First is the easiest option, using the cloud console. This provides you with an in-browser experience where you can easily click to create buckets and folders and then choose or drag and drop the files from your local machine to upload. Second is the command line tool. While the Cloud Console is fine for easy uploads and simplistic serving situations, for production environments, you often need an automated command line solution. For this, we provide the GSUtil tool. GSUtil is a Python application that lets you access cloud storage from the command line. It provides you with the ability to do all sorts of things like creating buckets, moving objects, or even editing metadata. To use it, simply run the GSUtil program with a variety of command line options. For example, this command uploads a directory of files from your local machine to your cloud storage bucket using parallel upload. And this command lists out specific objects that have a version-specific URL using a wildcard. You can see the other cool stuff this tool can do in the documentation linked below. Up next is our client libraries. At some point, you might need to interface with cloud storage directly from your code rather than going out to a command line option. You can include the client libraries into your code and call a simple API to get data into a bucket or folder. And regardless of your language, we've got you covered. And finally, if none of that suits your fancy, there's always the good old JSON and XML APIs, which can let you kick off an HTTP POST request to upload data directly to a bucket or folder. It's a bit more complicated, but it's there if you need it. Now, for you folks with lots of data, it's worth noting that it might not be feasible to upload all of that data directly from your on-prem systems to Google Cloud. For that, you can use the Cloud Storage Transfer Appliance. We ship you a fancy device to your location. You can connect it and transfer at a super high speed and then send it back to us. Plus, we get this cool looking box on your desk for a while. And don't worry if your data is on another cloud. We've got easy to use guides to help you get up and running with supporting a multi-cloud environment, getting data over to Google Cloud Storage. And of course, now that the data is in cloud storage, you've got to figure out the best ways to serve it to your users worldwide. But that's for another episode. Subscribe, give us a like, and let us know what features of cloud storage you'd like to learn more about. Thanks for joining us for this quick bite of cloud storage. <laughs>